Hi again, YouTubers. Um, just expanding on what we did yesterday, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, read from Excel and write to Excel. So we'll start off with the writing to Excel. Now you'll notice I've got three examples here, and they're all going to write to column A, column B, column C. So obviously, the first one we've got our command for writing to Excel. Then we've selected the workbook that we've opened up. Now, this is where you'll actually select which sheet you want to write to. So, you, there's goods and bads for all of them. Um, I will go through the what I think is best for what works for me. Um, now, I'll just give a quick explanation of each one. So, your default is whatever sheet is opened in Excel. So if you open up your Excel workbook, it automatically opens up to sheet 3. That's where it'll start typing everything. Okay. So the next one is, you can actually specify a number. So number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, in this case, it's sheet 2. So it doesn't matter what the sheet name is, it'll write to the second sheet in the series. Okay, and then the last one, which is my preferred method, is actually using the sheet name. So in this case, I've got sheet 2. Now, that I find the most, or well, the least troublesome, mostly because then I can tell it exactly where I want the data. It doesn't matter what other sheets are there or what order they're in. I can say, I want this to put, be put on sheet 2. Okay, so I'll just give a quick demo of that one, just by hitting F5. Okay, so there we go, we've got title of column A, title of column B, and title of column C. Pretty simple. Now, if we want to learn how to read from Excel, so what we'll need to do is we need to actually set a variable first. So we can set it as, and we'll just call it underscore read. And the command for this one is called range read instead of range write. Okay, so then we go back to the workbook that we created and then we want to tell it which sheet we want to read from. So in this case we'll tell it sheet 2 and which cell we want to read from. So in this case we'll do column A4. Okay, yep, that reads it, but now we're not sending it anywhere, so we're going to have to send it somewhere. So let's send it to a message box. Alright, done. Now, we'll hit F5, and you'll notice that cell A4 has 32, and it sent 32 to the message box. So, pretty simple. And then, that's how you can read and write to Excel. Okay, catch you on the flip side.